Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to Pizza Day. Yes. Um, I don't necessarily look forward to Pizza Day quite as much as I did when we first started this, what was it, two, three years ago? This Pizza Day thing. Um, however, I do kind of look forward to it. <laughs> Uh, today is going to be, uh, uh, pizza day today is going to be kind of have mixed emotions and the reason being is because uh, yesterday evening I fell off my diet. <laughs> I, I, I pigged out last night. So I'm going to just have that one little tiny piece of pizza later and that's going to hopefully be it. <laughs> okay, enough about that. Now, what do we got going on here? Well, it's still dark outside. In fact, our uh, our uh, camera that captures the uh, overpass is is still in night mode. It's uh, yeah, it's still in black and white. But it does look like if we if we look at this one up here that has gone into color, it, it looks like we might have a nice sunrise. So we'll see what happens. I'll stick it at the end of today's episode. I won't dub it in overhead like I sometimes do. Well, it's too early. It hasn't happened yet, <laughs> so I can't. Uh, okay, yeah, we're getting a nice early start this morning. Now, uh, oh, here, I got to tell you. Yeah, in yesterday's video, I was talking about uh, putting C CA glue around the the mouth here to stop the fraying. Well, I'm not going to do that anymore, and it looks like I may not have a problem. It's not all coming apart like I thought it might. So uh, uh, what I do have to do though is I have to I have to cut the top of the the mouth open a little bit more because when I was riding on my bike yesterday, I was finding that my uh, it was it was too low and my 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 uh, upper lip was kind of being covered over and I, anyway uh, I was still having a little bit of a problem yesterday uh, with with fogging up my glasses. As I said so many times, I will be so glad when I don't need to stick this kind of stuff on anymore. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, I kind of cut that not too bad, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> except it's too small. <laughs> All right, uh, enough about the balaclava. Uh, I got a comment from a viewer, and I haven't checked yet, but I know what that viewer is talking about. And he said that K9, there might be a problem with it. Now, it's, it's been sitting just the way you see it since yesterday. I haven't looked at it yet, but, but I think what he's talking about is that I might have, when I was painting the gray, it might have, it might have gone through. So let's, let's just tell you what, let's, let's recompose so we can get in nice and close. And then we'll, uh, we'll look at it together. And like I say, I have not seen it yet, but I know what he's talking about. Okay. Uh... Let's see if we can do a lot of modeling today. Uh, uh, I, sh I should really quickly give these pieces uh, a second coat off camera, though, so that they're uh, a little bit more finished. Yeah, I'll just quickly, I'll just quickly do that, and then we, then we can probably move on to. We might be able to move into step twenty-three today, which doesn't look like there's a whole lot to it. Um, it's going to be the, uh, the to the table, uh, what do you call those kind of tables that they, that they, uh, that they, they, they fold out like this to make themselves wider? Um, I remember we, we used to have one when I was a kid, I can I remember something about it. Yeah, you, you'd, you'd lift the leaf out and then you'd, you'd turn a thing underneath it and would support it anyway. Uh, <laughs> enough reminiscing here. Um, let's recompose and uh, take a look at our K9. Okay, we are recomposed. Make ourselves some room here. Now, I think I know what that viewer was talking about. Just let me zoom in a little bit here. When I was painting the K9 here yesterday, he thought that 
there was the possibility, just let me get this out here, that the paint had run through to the other side. Now, I haven't looked. Let's just see, did it happen? No. No, it did not happen. I wonder if he meant the K11. Just let me grab it here. No, it wouldn't, couldn't have been the K11. It's brown on both sides. Well, I wonder what, what that viewer was talking about. Uh, he was talking about it. He thought that the paint had bled through. Uh, hmm. Oh, well, maybe uh, if you're if you're listening, my friend, if you could clarify what you were talking about there. Um, okay. Well, I wouldn't say that was a waste of time because uh, it did give us something to talk about, didn't it? Okay, I am going to go ahead now and uh, use our 338 and and get everything with its second coat on and get it drying so that we can move on today. Okay, here's what's happened. Probably about two hours ago now, I did put the second coat right here, here, and here. And I used the, uh, the heater on low to get things, expediate things, so that we could put our little parts down. I come back to the model table a few minutes ago and I'm thinking, okay, good, now we'll just drop all the parts down and we can start the next step. And then I realized I have not yet painted these really tiny pieces yet. So uh, we got to do that first. Always something to make this hobby more fun, right? Okay, now the sunrise. I just processed it. Put it into time lapse. Runs about three minutes altogether. Nothing special. Uh, but I will put it at the end of today's episode. So, yeah. Uh... Sometimes they're nice, sometimes they're just mediocre. And I'll just give you a warning, warning you right now that it was mediocre. <laughs> well, we, we got to see the walkers, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, figure out how, how I'm going to hold these things so that I can paint them whatever color I think. I guess we'll probably be using the uh, darker gray again. XF23, I think that's what we used before and on some of the other pieces. It, it doesn't really matter, so long as they contrast against the, you know, what they're going on. Okay, so, uh, uh, at least that's the way I look at it. Uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, let's, uh, let's get ourselves, uh, uh, reorganized here a little bit. I, I think I'll probably mount these pieces on toothpicks or maybe, uh, Use Chris's alligator clips or self-locking tweezers. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out. Um, hopefully it'll, it'll be done by the time I might get a coffee visitor. You know, on pizza day I quite often get a coffee visitor early in the afternoon. So we'll see what's going to happen today. Um, oh, Missy the dog came by. Okay, we're going to try something different this time. This time I'm going to go out and I'm going to meet Missy, if I can. Oh, too late. It's too late. Hello, Missy. Hi, Max. So how are you on this cold day, huh? Yeah, maybe I better give you your little tickle first. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. There you go. I hope she said thank you. She did. <laughs> See you later. Thanks, Ron. You betcha. I would hope that I could hold onto this little piece of plumbing with a self-locking tweezer. I think that's going to work for that piece. 
and uh, it will be painted uh, I believe it gets painted brown but I'm not sure somebody was saying oh no it gets painted gray that's right anything to do with wastewater it was was painted gray so uh, all right we got that one figured out um, as for the uh, tops of the stools which go on these pieces right here something like this only we'll do it better later um, they are supposed to be the 37 now <clears throat> what the top of the toilet seat is supposed to be I don't have the I don't have it but I would think that if I was to paint it brown the, the same as the top of the stool it would be acceptable and uh, and like the toilet seat cover and the toilet seat itself was most likely wood because um, that's that's what that's the way they were back then uh, not that you can't buy wooden toilet seats today but there are not too many of them anyway uh, yeah the, it would also be wood so it could also be the 37 uh, these these like this this radio equipment here that could be uh, the uh, light gray which which says blue on there but that that looks gray to me anyway this part here I believe is supposed to be white I think it's supposed to be some kind of a light but I'm not sure I better just check on that to make sure um, but basically th these are the only pieces we got to paint and then there's a another piece of plumbing here that would probably also be uh, wastewater gray. Okay, let's get ourselves uh, uh, fastened on with stuff and uh, maybe I'll put the macro lens on and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Okay, I've got all our little parts mounted onto sticks, I guess you call them, except for this thing that I think is a light. And uh, when I was trying to get it, grab onto the two little prongs on the bottom with the self-locking tweezer, it pinged off onto the floor. I actually heard it hit. And I thought, in the corner of my eye, I saw it go over onto the carpet which is loaded with junk and I'm thinking I'm never going to find it. So anyway, I took my uh, my light that I bought a couple of months ago, this one here, which works extremely well, and I'm looking all over on the carpet. I, sp I probably spent two, three minutes looking and then I thought, well, I guess we're not going to have this little part. And then I thought, well, maybe it didn't bounce into the carpet. And I, I, I took and I, I looked, uh, and, and right at the bottom of this post where it goes down onto the floor, that's where it was. So I got it. So I, I'm going to have to think of uh, some another way of grabbing onto the bottom of it. I'm probably going to glue it onto something. Maybe with, with CA glue, I'll just glue it on and, and do it the same way as I did all these others here. And, oh, and as far as the uh, the toilet seat and the, the toilet lid, the seat lid, uh, I've I've got it in a in a shut position. It seems that the um, that the uh, the way the plastic was was molded, that's the way it was designed to go. It was supposed supposed to go shut. Uh, yeah, and then it's got to mount, be mounted on the toilet bowl here. And there's a little tiny notch. Maybe when we actually do that, I'll put the macro lens on and uh, we'll... Uh, I, I get, you know, well, I can't put it on until after I paint it. So I'll paint it first and then we'll glue it on. Um, okay, I think we are basically ready to go here, except for this little piece that uh, we almost lost. So I'm just going to mount it and then uh, we'll uh, like I say we'll stick the uh, macro lens on and uh, hopefully we can uh, get a little bit of interesting footage okay here's what we're going to try and do if I can hold my little part I'll get one to 
demonstrate about half an inch out from that stick it should be in focus yeah that looks pretty good um, that's the plan I've got three different colors I'll be right back hi Phil not bad okay okay we'll see you too you betcha bye That wasn't planned. That was uh, the way it happened. Okay, so I'm getting a coffee visitor at two o'clock, so I gotta, I gotta move here. Uh, okay, I've got the three different colors going here. We're going to start off with the uh, being as the gray is going to take the largest brush. Um, okay, I've already mixed these up, and. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to dub in appropriately. Okay, I'm going to paint this radio gray and the plumbing gray. Get my glasses going here. And maybe I'll do the outside first because that's going to get some of it off of the brush and we don't want to flood it in too much now I, I know there is going to be a certain amount of you know melding or uh, shrink wrapping going on here I think I got a little bit too much on the brush there how does that look I gotta hold it up for, for my eye yeah that looks okay I don't think I need any more uh, paint on my brush here. But, oh, don't don't let it ping off. Don't let it ping off. Just very very gently here now. Just just get it the illusion of being gray. Okay, that that's that's going to be all right. And the last one. Oh, by the way, I've had a bit of a disaster with this one. I I broke the photo etch piece off of it and I had to glue it back on. I didn't get it quite straight. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do this one uh, separately later. Once again, we're, we're just sort of getting at the illusion of being gray. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come off on me, isn't it? All right. Now, that should, be, that should be it for the gray. And I've just got some water over here. I'm just going to drop the brush in and clean them up later. I don't want to take the time to do it now. Okay, now we can do the brown, and the brown is going to be the the seats, and the yeah the seats the the toilet seat and the stool. Okay, I don't think it matters which brush I grab here. Get my glasses back on. All right. And we're not going to be seeing the underneath, so I'm not going to paint the underneath.
Okay, now this one has a little bit more detail to it. Oh, what's that on there? Oh, let's see if I can scrape that off. There, I think I got it. Okay, and once again, we're not going to be seeing the underneath. Let me get rid of those bubbles. Okay, let me check the monitor. Yeah, it's going to have to do. Okay, that's, that's it for the brown. Now the white. And the white is going to be the our roll of toilet paper. Okay, well, we'll just uh. I think that's going to have to do. And this light. I might have to do a couple of coats on this. It would be nice if I could uh, be uh, energetic enough to, to uh, you know, put a, a little bit of a little LED bulb in there. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to rely on the fact that this is going to shrink wrap a little bit. Okay. In fact, it's going to have to shrink wrap a lot, isn't it? I should get some of that off of there. Kind of went in, kind of covered up the pegs. Where's one of... Okay, I think we're basically through with the white, but I'll just put that like that. Where's one of Gabe's swabs here? I know you, you probably you probably can't see it, but well, maybe you can now if I hold it like this. You can see here that I've got quite a bit of paint where, where those pegs are supposed to go. I just want to try and get rid of that. Yeah, I think I got it's better anyways. Put it that way. <clears throat> okay, it's going to have to do. Well, you know, you heard me get the phone call. Uh, I'm going to cut her off. So thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. Now, for those of you who are hungry for pizza, well, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow. I pretty much forgot about it. Sorry about that.